All right, today we are cracking a code that has been a huge headache for businesses, for researchers, for pretty much everyone for decades. And it's a problem that's hiding in plain sight. This massive, untapped universe of information that's just locked inside our documents. I mean, just think about it for a second. Invoices, financial reports, old historical archives, even a quick photo you take of a license plate. All of this is visual data, and for the most part, it's totally invisible to the software that runs our world. It's unstructured, it's messy, and it's locked away. So that brings us to the really big question, right? How do we teach our computers to see and read just like a human does? How can an AI not just glance at a document, but actually understand what's inside? Well, that is exactly where today's subject comes into play. Meet Paddle OCR. It's this incredibly powerful open source project that's designed to be the ultimate bridge between that visual world of documents and the structured world of AI. Okay, so here's how we're gonna break this all down. First, we're gonna look at its core mission, unlocking all that trap data. Then we'll get into why this tool is so much more than just a simple text reader. After that, we'll explore its most powerful new feature, what I'm calling the AI with eyes. We'll also cut through the noise and separate the hype from the reality. And finally, we'll zoom out and see how this fits into a much, much bigger revolution in document AI. So first up, what is Paddle OCR's core mission all about? Let's dive right in. At its heart, this whole thing is built on something called OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition. It's the basic, fundamental tech that lets a computer look at an image of text and turn it into actual characters it can work with, you know, making the unsearchable searchable. And Paddle OCR takes this whole idea a giant leap forward. Its main job is to grab any visual document you can think of, a crumpled receipt, a super complex PDF, and translate it all into these clean, structured data formats like JSON or Markdown. You can think of those as the universal languages that other AI systems, especially large language models, can easily understand and start working with. But here's the thing. Paddle OCR is so much more than just a simple text scanner. Let's take a look at how it's really become a full-fledged toolkit. The first clue that tells you this thing is a big deal is this number right here, over 59,000 stars on GitHub. Now in the open source world, that is a massive vote of confidence from developers. It's a huge signal that this isn't some side project, it's a major, major player. And this slide really gets to the heart of why it's so popular. See, Paddle OCR isn't just one tool, it's an entire ecosystem. You've got your core OCR models for just reading the text, but then you've got these more advanced layers on top for parsing the document structure and even understanding its meaning. It's the whole shebang, a complete pipeline. And it breaks down into a few key pieces. You've got PPOCRv5, which is kind of the workhorse for just recognizing text in different languages. Then there's PP structure v 3 And this part is absolutely crucial because it doesn't just read the words. It understands the layout, the tables, the columns, the headers. And finally, PP chat OCRv4, which connects all of this to large language models, letting you literally talk to your documents. But the team behind this didn't just stop there. Oh no, their latest creation is where things start to feel like they're straight out of science fiction. Let's talk about the AI with eyes, Paddle OCR VL. So this is built on what's called a vision language model or a VLM. And honestly, the best way to think about a VLM is that it gives an AI both eyes and a brain. It's not just seeing pixels over here and recognizing letters over there. It processes the visual information and the language all together in context, which lets it genuinely comprehend a document. And this, well, this shows you exactly what that means. It's brilliant. On the left, you've got this super complex Chinese financial report. It's packed with charts, tables, dense text. And then on the right, you have perfectly clean, structured markdown. The VLM didn't just read the text, it understood the entire page layout and recreated it digitally. Incredible! And when you look under the hood, the specs are pretty wild. It's incredibly compact, which is huge. It means you don't need a supercomputer to run it. It claims to have top-tier, state-of-the-art performance, it understands a whopping 109 languages, and it's built to handle the really tough stuff, like complex tables and mathematical formulas. Okay, those are some seriously bold claims. but. You know how it is in the AI world. How does Paddle OCRVL actually perform when you put it to the test? Let's take a balanced look at the hype versus the reality. The hype is definitely out there. You see headlines like this one popping up, suggesting it can outperform even the biggest models from giants like Google and OpenAI. But as always, you gotta dig a little deeper. 
and when independent testers get their hands on it, the results are, well, they're a bit more nuanced. While the official claims talk about state-of-the-art performance, real-world tests show it can have mixed results, especially with really complicated tables where the layout sometimes gets jumbled. That 109 language support is amazing, but the accuracy can vary. Some languages just perform way better than others. And on noisy, low-quality images, the model can sometimes hallucinate, you know, just make up text that isn't really there. So the most important takeaway from the reviewers is this. The claims are impressive, for sure, but you absolutely have to test it on your specific documents. A model that's perfect for a clean financial report might really struggle with a scan of an old historical newspaper. The only way to know for sure is to try it yourself. All right, so even with a few of those reality checks, why is a tool like Paddle OCR such a massive deal? Let's zoom out for a second and look at the bigger picture here. The main thing to understand is this. Advanced document intelligence is being democratized. For years, this kind of high-level tech was locked away inside a few giant tech companies. But now, it's open source, it's accessible to everybody. And that means a small accounting firm can now build a tool to automatically process thousands of invoices, a job that used to require a crazy expensive enterprise software subscription. And you can see its impact out in the real world. It's already being used as the engine inside other major open source projects like Ragflow and QAnything. These are tools that let you build your own private chat GPT just for your company's documents. This proves it's not some academic toy. It's a trusted, production-ready solution that people are building on top of. Which really just leaves us with one final massive question. We are getting closer and closer to a future where AI can read and understand pretty much any document in any language from any point in history. So, as this technology keeps getting better and better, what completely new possibilities and insights are we about to unlock?